In this video, you are going to discover how to make invisible objects occlude other ones. But before we start, what does occlusion mean? Put simply, occlusion is when an object blocks partially or completely another object from the view. An example of that is the cards here, where one is occluding a part of another. That said, in CGI we can go further by making an invisible object occlude an opaque one, and that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. To make this kind of effect in 3GS, we need to use a couple properties. The first one is color right, which makes a mesh invisible by not rendering its material. The second property is the render order. In 3GS and WebGL in general, rendering things goes through a step called depth test. In this step, the renderer needs to know from which object it should pick a color to render a certain pixel. Having said that, say we have a couple objects. First, the renderer draws a full object. Next, it starts rendering the second one, but before rendering each pixel, it tests if it has a higher or lower depth than the one that's already rendered, and what I mean by depth here is the distance from the camera. So, if the pixel has a higher depth, then it will be skipped. If, on the other hand, it has a lower depth, then that pixel's color will be updated to the color of the current one. In case both have the same depth, a Z fighting occurs, it's that sort of glitch that takes place when two objects occupy the same space. Now, which object must be rendered first, you might be asking. In 3GS, the renderer sorts objects based on their distance from the camera and renders them in that order. However, we still can change that by updating the render order property of the objects. As you can see here, we have a scene ready with three objects. So first, let's omit the rendering of the ring's material and see what will happen. To do that, I'm going to set color right of the mesh's material to false. And as you see, we have like a clipping mask effect, and that's because the ring was already rendered, thus it took the colors of the scene as if the two objects behind it didn't exist yet. Then, when their turn to be rendered was up, they failed at the depth test phase. When I turn the camera though, things change, because they succeed at the depth test this time, since they are closer to the camera than the ring. Now, say we want to make the ring occlude only the box. To do that, we are going to update the render order of the objects. What we want to do is render the plane first, then the ring. And since it's transparent, the depth test here doesn't matter, the pixel's color will be taken from the plane and then render the box. Here the depth test matters since the ring has been already drawn with the color of its background, the color of the plane more precisely. Keep in mind that the object that has the lower render order is the first to be rendered. And there we go. Now time for a little exercise. First, let's import the necessary modules to load and clone a couple of GLTF models. By the way, if you don't know why we need skeleton utils, make sure to check this video out. I'll leave you the link in the description below. Now, I'm going to load and animate the model.
To make this character go from one side to the other, I'm simply going to decrease its position x value over time. Next, I'm going to make it so it goes back to the far right once it reaches a certain x. And I'll have to do this for the two other models, except a few minor differences like the positions, variables, and animation names. That done, now time for the occlusion, so to make it look like the characters are going through portals, I'll merely place a couple boxes that cover the left and right sides of the left and right doors respectively. So this is the code of our left box. And now time for the right box. We are almost there, but notice that the boxes now occlude the doors also, which is not exactly what we want. To fix that, we are going to play with the render order of our meshes. So first, I'm going to set the render order of the boxes to 1, and since the render order of the rest of the models is 0 by default, they are not affected by the boxes. To fix that, I'm going to increase the render order of the meshes that compose the models. And that works for the orc, so we'll need to do the same with the dinosaur and the chicken. And this is it for this tutorial, so make sure to like, share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.